So, welcome back to Cherry Generation of Chromatic Legacy Challenge. So, we are literally like two minutes after the last episode. I get played for about two seconds and um, somebody is dying. <laughs> Figure we have to get that out of the way. Yeah. Oh, Lily. Oh, she was such a good puppy. Oh, oh Mir. I feel so bad for her. All of her family members that, like, she had before this family are gone. I am so sorry, girl. I think I have to zoom out because her crying is a bit too much for me. Like, she's so sad and she's so valid for it, but it makes me sad. It makes me so sad. <laughs> so that's a great start to the episode. Almost the exact way that we started last episode. Oh, they're giving hugs. Girl, I can hear the Grim Reaper's ominousness. I'm, I'm not doing this today. You're gonna have to leave. Don't act frustrated. I've seen you way too much. Way too much in the last couple of 10 days. Like, no. Also, do not run over my child. I literally never want him to age up. We are newly friends in a time of loss. We might have already been friends in a time of loss because you know how much loss there's been, but somehow she's still vibing to her music. So today the plan is we are approaching her final days of school. We're gonna be going for a couple of days of school. We're gonna be confronting Kirsten and Micah who are kind of like awful people. So yeah, we're going to be spending as much time as possible with Izzy because we have a couple of um, dilemmas here with with Izzy. So as we know, Carmen has some pretty, uh, pretty big dreams. She really, really wants to become an actress in Hollywood or Simwood or I don't know what it's called. I don't know. But she really wants to be an actress and she knows, aw, cuties, that the way, that the way to become one is to move to Del Sol. And it's also part of the rules, obviously, so once she ages up into a young adult, she basically right away has to go and move out to Del Sol Valley. And look, the whole family is here. Oh, this family has my entire heart. We don't particularly expect Izzy to come with us to Del Sol. Uh, that is not really what Izzy wants. Izzy isn't sure what she wants, but she definitely doesn't want to move out to such a like huge um huge place with just especially right now she's just really struggling she doesn't really want to leave home carmen i admire your bravery for being a good big sister i suppose carmen is feeding her little brother i'm not sure why but today she's just really taking the initiative of his care her face is a mess Aw, her brother keeps having these pop-ups too. That is so sad. So I guess it's important to discuss the, just the next step of Carmen's life. I think I think that she and Izzy both know um, what they want and what their futures are going to be like, but they haven't talked too much about it in the context of, so what are we going to do? Zinnia, Zinnia. <laughs> so I know that we have a so many gravestones, but I will be taking care of them uh, somewhat soon. I'm going to be building a CLC graveyard. I'm going to be giving these to Carmen, though, because we're not going to be playing much with Mira after this episode, which is actually so scary. I do not want to leave this house. That sounds awful. I love this house way too much. Aw, they're, they're such a close family. They literally didn't react at all. Wow. I guess they're just too depressed to care, honestly. I don't know. Anyway, I find it so funny that she keeps pranking people. She literally, one of her highest skills is mischief. And she has no, I have never made her do a mischief interaction, but she just keeps doing it with her father and mother and siblings. And it's just so funny. It's so funny. She's just naturally really good with them, I guess. It looks like today the family is kind of just sticking together. Like, they're always in the same room. It's kind of cute, but also really sad because there's a lot less family members now than there was. Family reunions are going to be lackluster. Um, so it is a Sunday, so we do not have school today. So I'm thinking... But we are going to be hanging out with Izzy. So I think I'm going to 
go ahead and travel and we'll just see where they want to go. I really don't know. How about we go to the doggy diner? It might be a little bit sad because we just lost our dog, but honestly, it's, it's nice to mourn a dog with a dog. And I'm actually wondering if sometime soon we can get her uh, her own dog because she's going to be mo moving out and I do see her as being a dog or a cat person but for some reason a chihuahua is really speaking to me for her so I think that's what we're going to do for now. I do think the next gen suits cats more so I'm going to go dog with this one, cat for the next one. Um, I don't always get pets but I, I do think that makes sense. So we're a little hungry, so we're gonna get some uh, food. We can get a croissant. But first we have to say hi to our bestie. I forgot to do that, okay. So there's actually something that I wanna cover between these two that I haven't talked about enough. Uh, because obviously we do know that they are kind of in love with each other and I didn't even notice this before, but she does find her very attractive, which is extremely good. Uh, normally I want my sims to like their partners to be very or extremely. She sees her as very, but she also has a crush, so that's a whole nother thing. Um, so we know that they both like each other, but it is kind of important to note that Izzy likes Carmen a lot, and she knows that. But she doesn't really know that she likes girls, which doesn't really make sense, I know, but I don't know if she fully understands the extent of how she likes Carmen, but she knows she likes her and she doesn't really think about it too much because she already struggles so much with her identity. She wants to ask a risque question, so. Sure. And she accepted. Who's surprised? They're in love with each other. Carmen, she knows that she likes girls. She's very aware of that fact, but she doesn't really realize that she likes Izzy. She does, but she doesn't really realize it. So they're like the opposite in that regard. And it definitely is one of the reasons where nobody's really acted on much of anything other than a little flirt here and there, which I'm sure that because they're so close, they will just like pass it on as, oh, you know, that's what friends do. Oh, they are just so cute. I, I'm going to miss Izzy and obviously we'll, we'll stay in touch, but I don't think we're going to be, we're just going to be in a very long distance friendship. Tell her that she is your favorite because I I very much think that is true. <laughs> I definitely think since they are nearing the end of their school year, they're definitely starting to feel a little bit awkward by each other just because th they know what's coming. They know that th they are going to have a bit of a different path in their lives and they're somewhat ignoring it somewhat. Uh, they like talk about it a little bit, but it's just kind of hard for them to talk about. Oh, dead Xenia is savage. Mira, consider this me throwing shade. Your mother is a llama and so are you. Who's gonna tell her? And apparently Geronimo went to prom. I'm sure he did. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Mira, listen to these old folks telling us they couldn't get out of the pool without a ladder? Hit the gym. Honey, you're dead. Because you were old. Y'all are weirdos. Not the evil laugh. Yeah, they're planning on doing a final prank. To le it's it's probably a senior prank, to be honest, because they're definitely seniors. They're pretty close to ending the school. They're pretty close to graduating, so. Ooh, future cute. Are you asking how many people are gonna die this episode? Only one? Fabulous. Okay, what is going on? That? Oh, they're just friends. It's so obvious. Okay, I'm kind of thinking about heading home. I know it's only 4 p.m., but we've been out since 10 a.m., so we might want to go home. I think that we can work on our aspiration a little bit more. We can, uh, but we do have to achieve level 6 comedy skill before writing three comedy routines because I accidentally cheated it. So I want to do that before so it's not like cheating. So Carmen just turned the single and loving and lifestyle, which is definitely interesting. Not something I would totally expect of her, but I know that Lily died this morning. However, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting a dog soon after your other one passes. Not in the same day, but this is the sense. This is the sense. <laughs> um, because it just really helps the mourning process if you have a furry friend to 
uh, stick around with. Okay, so this is Apple. She is a chihuahua, and she's got a cute little, like, cutie mark, basically. Um, that's red because it's cute, whatever. She is so sweet. She's a smart, vocal, and couch potato dog. So I, I randomized, basically, but I kept vocal because it was, like, part of the breed. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and say hi to her. Everybody's in here because they're always together. <laughs> And this dog is going to be Carmen's dog, which actually is probably a bad idea considering she is going to be so broke when she moves out. But Mira moved out with two dogs and she was also broke. They're friends already. <gasps> Yay! Aw, baby! I love her so much. Oh, okay. Um, I love her so much already. Hi, baby. Oh, bye, cutie. On that stand, any... Chihuahua slander. I think she can get upstairs. She's not a puppy, so she should be able to. Oh, yep. Apple can come on up. Look at her go. Smart little girly. I'm gonna have Apple come and lay on this, which is giant compared to her. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I, I actually do have a height slider for dogs, and I think I did shrink her a little bit because I thought it would be cute. So now she's like really tiny. All right, and then we're gonna just uh, have everybody to go to bed and be in the morning. Aw, and Mira's putting the rest of the bed and... Do not wake him up. Do not wake him up, silly girl. Oh my god, look at her face. <laughs> um, there's some problems here, I feel like. Okay, it is morning and Mira is the first one to be up. She gotta pee real bad. We have so much cake in the fridge and also for some reason, meat cubes. So I guess that's just what everybody's gonna have for breakfast. <laughs> and we're gonna have to make another one too because it's gonna be her birthday. And looks like she is up. She wants to flirt with Lilith. Okay. Again, don't know how to pronounce that girl's name, but cool, we can do that. Good morning, little apple. Aww. She do be loving Carmen. Because last episode was like really, really long because of how- No, I don't want to go to the zoo. I was about to say the, the last day of school she's going to go to, but I guess tomorrow will be because I can't actually go with her to the zoo. It's fine because this day is going to go fast if she's at the zoo. Hey, 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 Flynn, 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 Flynn. Single and loving it? Seriously? Is that the time for that? Flynn. That was really- He's not a kid anymore. I can't discipline him. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm going to force him to repair it anyway. I think because Flynn is currently living in his parents' house and he just... Uh, I don't know if he plans on moving out soon and Mary and Anthony really don't care. Um, he is going to have to get a job, though. I don't know yet what full-time job he would get, but I might get him a part-time for now. I love how he exclusively spends all of his time in this outfit now that he doesn't go to school. That's like, really real. He's gonna be just a fast food employee and he's gonna work. Um, he'll work in the mornings. Saffron has come over to hang out. That's nice. She just came home and is now talking to her brother. Become best friends, for sure. Cause her secondary best friends is her family. <laughs> she really, really loves her family. Anthony's playing his son's guitar. That's that's good. <laughs> Russell, I guess Russell and Anthony are just cute little buddies, aren't they? Now she's gonna go inside, check on Apple, who's also in here. Cutie. Aw, they're playing. Oh, I'm gonna miss playing in this household so much. Look at him, I can't. I love Russell. I'm gonna have her work on her comedy because it's really important she gets even better. And of course, mom is our audience. She's a very, 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 very supportive mama. And she looks very, very young even though she's on the brink of elderhood because I can't handle that. Oh, we have such a good and supportive audience here. That is adorable. I love how her parents are always autonomously coming in here to cheer her on. It's so cute. Oh, Izzy is here! Hi, Izzy! Aww. She loves her puppy already. 
Aw, Amira's praising her. She's like, you got a good little chihuahua there. Because we do. We have such a sweetie. Yes, we do. Oh my goodness. I just love dogs so much. Oh, I forgot that Mira got the gloomy trait because her mom and her mom and her dad and her dog and her dog died. It is midnight, so tomorrow's our last day of school, so we're going to go to sleep. <laughs> we are supposed to be asleep, but um, these two are just playing in the kitchen instead, so. <sighs> I can't be mad. Oh, she's thinking about Theo. That's interesting. Come sleep next to Anthony. And y'all can do your bed cuddles, if I still have that mod. I do. Cute. Although I think it's coming with Love Struck. No, if I'm gonna get it, though, because I'm broke. Oh. <laughs> okay, so she got up to eat, and she just sat automatically right next to her sleeping dog. That's cute. It is a little early in the morning, but whatever. I guess she just wants a good start on her last day of school. Lynn actually has work in an hour, his first day of work, so let's make sure everything is fantastic when it comes to his needs. He's going to eat, and then he's going to shave, or not. He's just going to leave, so uh, good luck at your, your new job, buddy. You are going to do so well, even if you're giving me the stink eye for making you have a job. Love ya. Oh, he's already working hard. Good job. She is talking to her mom before school. Oh, Anthony got candles for pride from Mira. <laughs> okay, um, one of Flynn's co-workers need help on a task. He would definitely help out. And yeah, we're gonna go to school with Carmen. Okay, so a couple of things that are worth noting. Izzy is back at school, which I'm super happy about. Another thing that's worth noting, this girly here is a global superstar. So I'm gonna attempt an introduction to her just because she might be into like acting or something and we love acting. Lilith is also here who uh, Mir uh, Carmen did want to flirt with. She is really cute to be fair. Um, so we might do that and then there's also Ocean who we did save his life and he is a celebrity so that's good. Please be normal. Please be normal girl. Yeah I don't think she liked that. Oh look who's here. Look who's here. Okay well I I'm actually not sure why, but Micah hasn't been showing up to school, so maybe he's aged up, but, you know, we can start here. We can start here. So we're, we're going to immediately start a argument, not about really any of these things, but that's fine. She's already being, like, standoffish about it, which is interesting, uh, because a lot of times they'll be like, oh, how could you do that? But no, she's just angry. She's not hurt, she's just angry, which is fine, because, you know, we don't like her. Like, she's a bully, she's a bigot, I don't want her around, and she's also fake. Because why in the world would she be friends with Carmen? Because she would know that Carmen and Izzy are inseparable. Because she loves. Oh, class, I, 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 I did forget we had that, so... We will resume this later. We apparently still have a good relationship with her, but, you know, we'll fix it. Oh, we're near her in class. That's awkward. And Finnick hasn't aged up yet. That's also awkward. He should have. She's still feeling confident. She's pretty unfazed by this. I mean, she, she's phased. She's angry, but she's not, like, letting it ruin her life. All right, it is pretty much time for lunch. We're going to be mean. I mean, we're not really being mean. We're just... Being like, you suck. <laughs> hey, I heard you became friends with Kirsten Arnold. Magnolia, you're a little bit behind. Well, uh, we spent all lunch arguing, but at least we have a pretty bad relationship now. See that red bar? That's great. We have afternoon class. We should probably go to it, even though we don't really want to. Uh, because this is our last class ever. <laughs> And before we leave, I'm going to try to remember to do a little flirt to Lilith. I don't know why, but she wants to, so might as well. We are flirting with her from all the way over here. Okay, well, that's that. Also, we got some first impressions with Ocean because apparently we're good enough friends to get it. I don't really know why. Uh, he thinks that we are interesting and he, we think that he's cool. And I'd say that's pretty accurate. Now it's definitely time to spend some time with Izzy. 
Oh, what are you doing? I think it would actually be pretty cool if we went and celebrated our last day of school by going to the diner with our bestie. All right, we are here. We haven't been in a little while, if, um, even though we are kind of regulars. So we're going to go ahead and request a table. We're also obviously going to get a little, some food. We're obviously also going to get a milkshake or drink or soda or something because, of course. Ooh, are we being seated outside? Mm -hmm. Sweet! I'm excited about that. Okay. Just go future together? Girl, I'm gonna do that even if it hurts because, you know, they're romantic a lot, but their friendship bar never turns into a, There's never a romance bar up here, which I actually think is very fitting for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and order. We'll get some tofu dogs. And we won't get a drink because we're gonna get a special kind of drink. Apple fizz! We can get apple fizz um, in honor of our new dog. And I'm gonna have Izzy have a strawberry lemonade slushie. We've been here for a very long time and we haven't gotten any food. Um, so that's annoying. We literally already ordered. What do you mean order for table? We already ordered. Maybe this is just... Maybe we just came for for drinks then, because I don't know what else to do. We're gonna go ahead and tell her, you know, Kirsten has been properly told off, and if I ever see Micah again, he will be too. That sounds terrible. I'll talk to Kirsten myself. Maybe don't. We're going to give her a goodbye hug, and we're gonna head home. I'm gonna have her take tomorrow off, and Saffron's pregnant. That's, uh, I guess that's fine. Oh. Okay, Finnick got married straight out of high school. Interesting. Blue is off to work for the morning. Um, everybody else is asleep and it is thunderstorming, which is great for her birthday. We're gonna say hi to Apple and then we're actually gonna plan our party because I feel like this is a okay time, even if it is not the best weather. Okay, the party has started and we are supposed to tell jokes, which is, you know, pretty good for her. Mom is looking fantastic. Can you not interact with people? So, Carmen's emotional control, I have no idea why it's so bad, but it hasn't reached a trait point yet, so I don't really care. Ocean is making, let me guess, a white cake, and somebody else is as well. I don't know why, but when people come to my house, they just want to make white cakes. It's instinct. Okay, we got a bunch of teens in her room. That's kind of cool. Maybe she is, like, excited and wants to tell some jokes with the microphone for her friends. We have this beautiful cake that Anthony made, and we're going to clean up this random white cake. I know there is another white cake in the process of being made, so I'm not sure where it went, but... Oh, she's doing some whispering and hugging with Izzy. They are just the sweetest. The party is almost over, so we should go ahead and make a wish because our wish is to be successful in what we love. She really wants to be a successful comedian and actress. She wants to be able to still have an amazing relationship with Izzy and all these other things. She just has a lot of things. She just has a lot of aspiration and things she wants. Now, I don't understand why, where she's going right now to age up, but you can't tell the difference, but here is young adult Carmen. So Carmen aged up. I am going to be keeping her with her joke aspiration because once she completes it, we will move on to the next one. And our last trade for this generation is romantic. She likes to be flirty with random people and also her bestie, but we don't talk about that. And it just, I feel like it, it does fit her. Theo sent a gift. A random toddler sent a gift. Uh, I don't really care. So the party was just completed and... Micah's here! Oh goody! Let's go chew him out. It's our birthday, so I don't really want this to be a bad day. Um, but, you know, 
don't know what else to do, and he deserves to be yelled at, so. Alright, well, this has been taken care of. He has a pest and grudge against her. Good. I did forget to age Izzy up. My bad. I'll do it with MCC. Flynn was scared of the rain, so he came and ran out here. And then ran back and said, that makes sense. So, now that she's a young adult, uh... She has some moving out to do, don't she? So I do think before we do that, I would like to... Oh my god. This kid. This freaking kid, dude. Cutest little guy on earth. Anyway, I'm good. Oh my goodness, we are being struck by lightning. Okay, um... Well... Yeah, we're gonna go travel. Oh, Flynn is my grain. Sorry, bud. So we've arrived at this park, and it's actually not raining here, which is really, really nice. Uh, the sun is setting, but that's okay. Uh, this is a place that we went a little bit during Bubblegum Gen. I think we went about once, so... Kind of a new place for us still. I'm a little confused what's going on here. I don't know what those stairs are supposed to lead to, but... We're gonna, uh, come over here together. The conversation is going to start off a bit awkward, knowing that Carmen is, like, she already found the apartment that she's going to move into, and she knows that she's going to be moving out soon, and this might be the last time that they see each other in real life for a, a while. So with, you know, some, some bittersweet moments. Oh, perfectionist, wait. I, I actually, I'm not sure if we knew that before. That might be the trait she just staged up with. Yes, Carmen is going to be like, I am going to keep in touch as much as I possibly can. I'm not going, I'm not going to let anything change between the two of us. And Izzy promises the same. It's a little bit of a sad moment. I mean, they, they're going to miss each other. Just seeing each other more than words can really describe. Uh, it's a bit of a meaningful moment. They do promise to stay in contact, but Izzy doesn't want to leave. She can't leave her her home, and her mental health is just a bit too difficult for that right now. And, you know, Carmen has her dreams, and Izzy doesn't want to hold her back, even though that's never what Carmen would consider. With that, I think we're gonna go ahead and... Move out. I'm gonna head home to make sure we are bringing everything we need to with us. But other than that, uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be going. It is back to thunderstorming. Who was surprised? Okay, so I'm gonna and then I'm gonna take some photos with our mom, dad, and older brother to just keep memories. There we go. Oh, they're both so beautiful. We'll take a photo with Flynn, even though he has a disgusting beard right now. Well, it's not that bad. Not right now. In order to pay for her house, she's going to decide to sell the things in her room. I think that it's important to note that I still have it in the gallery, so I can put it back down if I ever want to. But um, this is the financially sound decision, and I, it makes me so sad because I love this room more than anything. It's so cute, but she needs to have some money, and she literally would have no money if we didn't do this. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this house and this room and this family so much. All right, so we're gonna be grabbing Carmen and little Miss Apple. And we're gonna be bringing over 5,000. It's about what her room cost and she doesn't wanna take money from her family. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and move into, I put this down, I'm gonna be putting the credit on the screen for the gallery. Now, I emptied this one so that it didn't cost that much. This is definitely the most affordable way to live in Dilso Valley. I'm sure it is extremely expensive to live in Dilso Valley, so. All right, so we just loaded in with little Apple and Carmen, and it is a really nice apartment complex. We do not have any neighbors yet, but I'll be trying to move some people in, so putting some people in from uh, the gallery, because I did have a couple people make a couple of actor sims for me. We will be starting that career next episode, but for now, this is the apartment. It is super shabby and has nothing in it, so that's fun. So I'm going to be giving the house a little makeover, and then we're going to go in the cast and give Carmen her 
second makeover of the series. Okay, so with the extremely small amount of money that we had, and we have $26 now, uh, I got us a fridge, a, a toilet, a shower, a dog bowl, some pictures. We already had our microphone. So now that my girl has her absolutely broken and just empty house, <laughs> let's work on uh, her new look. So here is her outfit. I could not do the others because this one took me over an hour at least and I think I need to do this next time. So I'm going to be uh, ending the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. I know that it was a somewhat uneventful episode, honestly, even though we're moving out. I'm excited to, you know, keep in touch with Izzy. It'll be a little bit difficult to maintain the relationship that we have been having, but it'll be fun. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.